With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is, equilibrium constant Kp for a thermal decomposition of PCL5 at 200 degrees Celsius is 1.6 atm. The pressure in atm at which, at which it is 50% dissociated at that temperature is. Okay. So, we have this uh, decomposition of PCL5 which gives PCL3, right, and Cl2, right. Uh, you are given the equilibrium constant Kp as 1.6 atm. You have to find out the pressure in atm at which, uh, the pressure of PCL5 in atm at which it is 50% dissociated, right. Now, let us consider initially the number of moles of PCL5 is 1, right. Now, at equilibrium, x moles of PCL5 got dissociated. So, x moles of PCL3 are formed and x moles of Cl2 are formed. Okay. Now, uh, if we talk about the partial pressure of PCL5, what the total number of moles now? 1 minus x plus x which becomes 1 plus x. Right. Now, the partial pressure of PCL5 will be the mole fraction of PCL5 into the total pressure right the mole fraction will be the number of moles of pcl5 divided by the total number of moles right into the total pressure that we are assuming as p okay the partial pressure of pcl3 will be the number of moles of pcl3 total number of moles which is the mole fraction into the total pressure okay then the partial pressure of cl2 will be again x upon 1 plus x into p now if we uh, write down now, what is given to you in the question? That it is 50% dissociated. It means that x is given to you as 0.5, right? If it is 50% dissociated, it means that initially if it was 1 and 50% it was dissociated, so how much is left? Now, x is 0.5, okay? So, this becomes 0.5, this becomes 0.5 and this becomes 0.5 because 1 minus 0.5 is also 0.5 and x is 0.5. So, from here, what do we have? If we write down the expression for Kp, it will be the partial pressure of the products, right, divided by the partial pressure of the reactants raised to the stoichiometric coefficients, right. Now, the partial pressure of Cl2 is x upon 1 plus x into P. Now, x is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, then this will be 1 plus 0.5, which is 1.5 into P, right, you can say. This becomes P by 3, okay. Talking about this, this also becomes P by 3. And then talking about pressure of PCL5, this becomes 1 minus uh, 0.5 divided by 1 plus 0.5, which is again 0.5 divided by 1.5 into P, which is again P by 3. So the Kp becomes P by 3 into P by 3 divided by P by 3. This gets cancelled out. The Kp becomes P by 3. Right, but Kp is given to you as 1.6, right? So, 1.6 is equal to P by 3. So, the pressure becomes 1.6 into 3, which is equal to 4.8 atm, right? So, the pressure at which it is 50% dissociated is 4.8 atm. That's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.